Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new Thousand Week Reich episode on Country Perspectives. Instead of doing Italy, like I did in the last five episodes, we'll be going with Germany this time. However, I know you might be thinking something, and I will say that in a minute. Swabian Knights when Bismarck united the German peoples under one empire, most dreamt of a grand state that usurps Napoleon. One man dared, however, to dream into this, to put this dream into action like Bismarck, the German leader, Mr. Adolf. And yeah, we get the point. Now, however, I know what you guys might be thinking, or ladies or whatever, didn't you literally just do two episodes of Germany? And you might be right, but hear me out before I start. The reason why I wanted to restart Germany over again was mainly because the two episodes I started with my channel, they were more mere test episodes, if you might believe it. I didn't actually thought of Germany as like a main, a main multi-episodes, unlike how I did with Italy. I only just used Germany as two episode practice round, so I could use Italy as a better example on how I could do it, just trying to see how I could perfect my model on how to do the episodes on each country's perspective. So without further ado, let's get to it with Germany. The Status of Reich I'm ready to play. The Status of Reich, as we enter into a new year, we face the same problems. Not so subtle factionalism within the party, and an economy in freefall and sluggish Armed forces, a scheme in Hungary, a gentle nudge. Hmm. 1952 proved to be the worst year for the Reich in recent memory. And yeah, I know the backstory about this for the 1952 mod, so in t in this case for it, but I'm not gonna go through. It. The coup brought greater harm. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot Polish terrorist attacks. It cost the Reich much in the way of prestige and Germany's reputation on the market. Ugh. I guess that means now it's up for it's up for me to fix Germany's flailing economy. Meanwhile, the Soviets are still broken as usual. And I don't get why France should even ha should have these areas back. The Southern Polish operation. Okay, now I can see why there's a lot of um events for Germany when it comes to playing it in the in the mod here, but I'm not even gonna bother go ahead and split hairs on that. Funding Hungarian radicals. As the friendship between Italy and Germany broke down, both sides have set their sights on uncertain regimes down south, transforming the Balkan into a political battlefield. I guess you can say that's right about the Balkans. They're a, they're a major powder keg. Okay, Germany's economy. Let's see. Internal politics. Now we must focus on the politics of the interior country. Mending the current situation we find ourselves in. Well, gone with the older generation. Walter Funk resigns. Necessary reforms ensuring, and above all things, business as usual. Time is of the essence. Politics of... Say what? The Socialist Republic of Bengal and... India white peace already? Hmm. The Bengal truce, peace at last. Orpo. Oh. The death of a president. Egypt martial law. Oh lord. It's like I can't even keep up with these events. All right, let's deal with the muddy topic in the water here. You can expect a rivalry to develop in one of the most powerful organizations in the Reich. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of muddy, but I'm not even going to say nothing about it. And this is Germany's uh, faction in the starting year 1952. Which, I understand why Hungary, Romania, and Bulgaria left the faction, but I don't get why Serbia is out of a faction when it was literally a puppet of Germany. Oh, darn French. French labor strikes. Plan submitted. Hmm, the idealistic plan. Oh boy. 
death of George of King George the Sixth. The king is dead. Long live Queen Elizabeth the Second. A camp tour in our pockets. Third wave of. I'm just gonna say news. I'm not gonna say the word after that. Media campaign. Written by an unknown author, a sizable article supported by pictures was published for the German public. A success as always. Project 1. The Vienna Project. You know, just in case, I might as well add more, uh... Yeah. Better also develop my colonies, too. But, ugh, that's just a... Just, this is just an embarrassment. You gotta be kidding me. Atomic testing. Although we do not have a full capability to produce an atomic bomb, our science team has successfully created a prototype. Members of the government urged the leader to show... to do a show of force done by nuclear tests in Moscow, but our scientists examined... Last straw for Greece? Okay, um... Show of force nuclear tests in Moscow, but our scientists exclaimed the testing at... An atomic bomb at this rate, at this current. Okay, there are too many assassinations here. Just test. Okay, okay, this is getting weird. Okay, what now? Oh, the Spanish Moroccan conflict. Alright, just test a damn prototype. A man of his word. Germany tests an atomic bomb. Germany will march on. I don't know why, but it feels like I want to reincorporate Serbia back into the fold. You know what? As a matter of fact, hold on. And here we are. We finally have Serbia going to be coming back into the fold. Opening of Theodore Morel Hospital, a symbol of German welfare. That's good. Hmm. The Polish plot crushed during an attempted Polish attack. Oh. What is going on? The city of Nis. Say what? Say what now? Oh yeah, the Algerian Republic declared war on the Oran Free State. The die are cast. Oh, Council of Sahara and... Man, Algeria is just a mess right now. I feel bad for the Algerians at this point. Just capture Nis and then it will all be over. Heroes Memorial Day. From the Atlantic to Oral, Germany stands tall in the world. Glory to the heroes. Democrats in West Africa? Sounds good on paper, but... Oh. Alright. Britain now tests its atomic bomb as well. Ah, uh, Vienna, what a beautiful city. The heck? Glory to the heroes. Occupation of Serbia. Herdens coup? What the? Form the German administration like the old days. I'm gonna keep funding Hungarian radicals. Send German support to Norway. And send them to Slovakia, too. Ooh, death of Levrenti Beria. Nice. Alright. I got Hungary. I got... No, not Hungary. I, mean, I got Serbia back in the fold as well. Overseas testimony. <laughs> they would never suspect a thing. Explosion in Danzig. Find the plotters quickly.
This is kind of crazy, though. I, now I can see why I'm getting overwhelmed with all these events. Germany 1952 is just on the brink of just craziness. Oh, Premier? Oh boy. The U-Bahn expansion. The opening of Germania's metro. Or Croatia requests military shipments. Eh, yeah, sure. The RSS defeated. Ah, the leader's 63rd birthday. Kickstart biochemical research. Okay, what is it now? Oh. Oh. A Middle East Adolf. Hmm. M Mayday? A so what the hell? A socialist Japan? I hope it's not the kind of socialism. Oh, wait, never mind. It is a socialist. Japan. <laughs> I'm such a fool. Egypt Revolution of 52. Something or someone for sports in Germany. Seriously though, it kind of makes you spin your head around that I'm getting bombarded with all these events. Desai elected? Huh. The health of a leader in question. Encourage outer metropolitan growth. The Congo Rebellion is crushed. The US tests its hydrogen bomb. Let me uh I need a I need to up my annual with the um Okay, there we go. military Korean protest crush change is not always easy the Malayan emerged the Malayan emergency Hungary wins the EFC could have been worse what's going on here Oh, Romania and and Orden Stant are having a little border dispute. How nice. Civil unrest in Bulgaria. Bulgaria's regime under Hristo Lukov has been in power over the country. Interesting. Expand the colonial market. Let's see here. The market of Iraq's colonial possessions is often aside from aside from Gotenland, a vastly untapped region, particularly brimming opportunities for investment and economic growth. The lack of our interest has largely been due to an air of animosity from private conglomerates and curiously enough the state run industries, citing con concerns of long term stability being the root cause. That's nonsense. Fanta's better than Coca Cola. What now? Oh, oh, never mind. The inner circle. The status of succession. Five, five future inner circle leaders. One, one person to choose as successor. Let me make sure I make some. Ah, my boy, General Hans Spidel. He's the man I can trust. Alright, 
let's see. Hmm? What is it now? Oh, the PPS elected? Oh, in Mexico. A socialist Mexico? Who could conceive such a thing? Also, I don't like the way how Georgia and Armenia have just escaped from, from the Caucasus. I think that should change. Design flaws in the craft. Well, we can't stop now. Oh boy. I know something's brewing. I can feel it. The 1952 Olympics begins. A world divided. China denounces Vietnam? <laughs> oh, well sure you do, buddy. You sure denounce Vietnam well. The rush safety test. It's superior German engineering. It'll be fine. No, it'll not be fine. I can tell. It won't be fine in the slightest. The launch day. Oh boy. The day of the launch has finally arrived. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I'll maybe for this kind of way I'll just there we go. Maybe let the launch begin. Wait, what's this one? The launch was successful, however, while the spacecraft reached an altitude of 132 kilometers before falling back towards the surface of the Earth, the parachute failed to deploy, and the spacecraft impacted the ground at terminal velocity. Radio communication between the spacecraft and Ditmar were cut once it became apparent the parachute would not deploy. The, inten the intention being kept being keep Ditmar uniform so he could die while doing what he wanted. Nevertheless, the launch was an overall success with minimal cost of lives. The first man in space will forever be a German. <laughs> well, it's good enough. Now we have a bloody martyr on our hands. Time for another man German space flight. Now, time for another military adventure. Now we're going to be able to invade Georgia and Armenia. French African Federation as the mandate of a recently elected regime of French West Africa. The attempts at mending relations between the French and natives have evolved to a formation of an entirely new nation. Revolution in Baghdad? Ooh, nice. Oh, Georgia could pick- oh, Japanese anarchist- okay, first a socialist Japan, now an anarchist Japan? Come on! Japanese anarchist association? The heck? Oh, come on! First so- like I said, first- oh. Sino-Vietnamese war? How could- how could some Vietnamese farmers win? Oh, hold on. Oh, Armenia already surrendered. And now it's and now it's left to Georgia to surrender. And I don't mean the US state of Georgia. I meant European Georgia. Hm. Mm-hmm. Lukov maintains power. Oversees more testimony and Hungarian radical support. There we go. I finally got all of Ethiopian Uprising. Oof. And the Greek Civil War. Ooh, this must be promising. I won't intervene in those. The Casablanca Catastrophe. 
Don't be intervening in these two wars, Italy should handle it itself. Einstein visits Israel. That's nice. Einstein? Oh. Well, that didn't last long. Rip for Mr. for Mr. Einstein. But I'm not really sure if I... Ah, surprising. The people's victory in Sweden. But I'm not really sure if I should invade Hungary, or invade Romania, or, or heck, I'll just invade both, because why not? Or if I should invade, like... Like, one of the, um... Hmm... Second Russian Republic? Under Nikolai... Bulganin? I did not even see that coming. <laughs> no, like, literally, I didn't see it coming. I thought the USSR was gonna stay for long, but... I guess I was wrong. Let's... Let's see. I oh, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna... Romania and, and the Orden stats are still at it. Again. Hmm. Let me... Oh, Franco... Franco dies? Send our regards. Okay. Republic of Algeria won? Nice. Ah, screw it. I'm, you know, I'm just gonna invade Romania. No, not Romania. Hungary. There we go. Eh, cool. You no longer get the overseas evidence trade effects. Oh, so that's how the West African Federation formed. Go figure. A new page for West Africa. The Bloody Tuesday in Italy? The... Oh, how horrible. Lufthansa announces, ex announces its airline expansion. Alright, let's continue the plan. National Oil Reserve. Oil, oil, oil. That three-letter word has been both a blessing and a curse for our nation. Since the word's conclusion, we have operated almost independently, relying on oil. Hmm. Wouldn't have said it better myself, honestly. Alright, now let's try to invade Hungary. And yes, I'm also very well aware I'm creating more of a world tension, but I don't really give a care at this point. We shall head over to Budapest. Oh, we don't have any aircraft? Well, that's kind of cheap. Oh, two Russian warlords signed the White Peace. Even if Hungary is invading Galicia, Germany, I can still... yeah. Oh boy. Peace, but at what cost and at certain times. Oh dear. I don't think even Hungary has a chance at winning this. Oh well. One more less monster state. Alright, let's see. Oh, industrial integration? Regional stockpiles. Winds of change?
Even when I was just under hot water for not getting Budapest, I'm still able to. And I'm not using the army chief. Take all the Hungarian states. The occupation of Hungary. As the last element of Hungarian resistance has surrendered, Hungary is effectively under our control. Just set up a puppet government. Okay, these borders look completely ugly. What's this? Oh, the Vovegeta problem. Give it to Hungary. Oh, I can't actually do the, uh, I can't do the Transylvania problem unless if I also invade Romania, but just for the record, I'm just going to do something. And there we go. The proper borders of Hungary once again. Let's continue. I still can't create an agency yet. I really hate this. Volks? Over 1 million Volkswagen models sold. Now that's an achievement. But I also better handle the ruling political situation. I can't just keep idle about that, either. And we're already in 1953 as it is. So I want to do this as quick as possible. The current situation in our... Okay. I don't know how to even say that, but I'm going to say the info. Planned among the higher-ups of a, of, a of a Wehrmacht is a Ostrophen. Oh, Douglas MacArthur inaugurated? I gotta see this. <laughs> well, if it isn't our Pacific... If, well, if it isn't our Pacific world... World boy, Douglas MacArthur um, for the presidency instead of... Eisenhower. Hmm. The exile... The exile Dutch government? Here we go again. Send support to... Serbia... And Norway. And this time, Denmark. To Danzig we go. NSDAP reforms. The party has been guided. Grand speech. Thank you. The party was guided on the principle of our society since the inception of the New Reich. It's become high. Oh, Indonesian victory. All right. It's become nigh mo monolithic in nature. Oh God. The coup, I think the coup is nearing, I can feel it. If I don't see, if I don't get the ruling position yet, this, this is gonna be a backfire. The Turkestan Republic capitulated? Well, that's unsettling. Well, it ends, resources for the Reich. Well, the unthink- Oh, well, the unthinkable has just happened, and I'm gonna be stopping here for now. Just hold on, let me do something. And basically, that's it for now. Basically, in March 9th of 1953, basically, the leader of Germany is now dead, and I got Hungary and Serbia back in the fold. But now comes the most lingering question. Who will lead Germany?
that means I have to choose between... Yeah. As in... <laughs> yeah, so... Anyway, hope you guys like and... Like and share the video. Subscribe. Share with friends or family. And I'll see you guys and ladies next time for the second episode.